We're talking about childhood cancers and two specific stories. We have an advantage here in Rochester, mm -hmm. southeastern Minnesota, of having the world's best hospital right in our own backyard that people around the United States, around the world, would you know give anything to be as close to as, as we are. Uh, you caught up with uh, the Herber family. Yeah, the, the Herber family. family, so special to me, and I only met them a few times, but they feel like family. Just like the Boss family, who we just introduced you to, the Herber family was also touched by childhood cancer, and now they, they want to do something to put an end to it. Try to get my Sometimes a video game can transport you to another world. I'm trying to hit this block and it's kind of hard, so. Especially when the world you're in is anything but easy. Yeah, you can get one. I'll save your life. I walked in the house and the phone was already ringing and I looked at the caller ID and I saw Mayo Clinic and I. I just knew. Last year, Andy and Becky Herber received the news that no parent ever wants to hear. Their four year old son, Nathan, had a large mass in his chest. I just dropped to the ground and we were just devastated. Mayo Clinic physicians were able to determine Nathan had T cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma. The interesting thing is the floor that I work on at Mayo was just literally steps away from the pediatric hospital. And so I distinctly recall you know, go back a couple years or even a little more than a year, taking my break and I'm having a rough day and things aren't going right and I'm stressed out. And I would walk through the Pete's hospital, come across families and you just know. And I always thought, man, no matter how bad my day is, it's not that bad. And then all of a sudden it was me and my son and my family in the room and it was it's brutal. It's, it's, it's not nice. It's not pleasant. It rips your family apart. Nathan's older brother and his twin brother yeah! Yeah! also had to adjust to this new normal. I feel like his brother was kind of lost and there's a special bond between twins that can't be described unless you've witnessed it. And although their lives were turned upside down, Becky and Andy felt guilty. We're sitting here in the hospital and there's these families that are driving two hours, three hours, or they've uprooted half their entire half a country. They've uprooted their entire family and they're living in the hospital room or at the Ronald McDonald House. I still think of us as like the luckiest unlucky people because despite all the hell that we were tra traversing, we could at least pack up and drive home. All this fueled a fire inside Andy. And I got angry <laughs> and I wanted to do something about it and I just said if Nathan gets through this rough patch when he got really really sick if he comes out of this on top then I'm going all in to get rid of this disease or do whatever possible to make it easier for everybody else that's battling this it's just it's not fair that's how the crushing Koopas and childhood cancer Mario Kart tournament came to be he endured more in a week of that diagnosis week than most people will in their in a lifetime. What always got him through it was video games. He loves Nintendo, he loves Super Mario, his nickname is Super Mario around. People know when he's coming because they can hear the theme of Mario Brothers. The entire community rallied behind this idea to bring Nathan's love for Super Mario to create a fundraiser for kids just like him. These video games brought peace to an entire family during a very difficult and trying time. And each day only gets better. I think we're just so happy that today is here and that he's here today. That um, every little thing is so much more monumental than ever was before. They like to play video games a lot too. Nathan's battle with cancer is far from over, and the Herbers' battle to put an end to childhood cancer is just beginning, but they have a different outlook on life. What? Let's go. Maybe. Life really is like a video game. Each level brings a new challenge. Come on, somebody, somebody. We may not always beat that level on the first try, but we should never give up. Something that Nathan and Mario would want everyone to do. 
Nathan's immune system is still very weak. If there's one thing Becky and Andy say you can do to help, it's get vaccinated, get your flu shot. If not for yourself, for children like Nathan who are defenseless against these viruses. Now, you can also donate blood. Nathan underwent many blood transfusions during his treatment over the last year. And through this Friday, you can make a blood donation at any of the Mayo Clinic blood donor centers in honor of Nathan. Now, as for the crushing Koopas in childhood cancer, Mario Kart tournament. It is this Saturday at Mayo Civic Center in Rochester. It starts at 1, goes until 8. There will be games, prizes, a silent auction with more than 70 items and so much more. Registration to take part in that tournament is open through Thursday. We have all this information on our website. People of all ages are welcome and the Herber family would love to see you there. That is amazing, yeah. and this is the best part of our jobs. It when is. we are able to meet, connect, and then put out information that's going to help these families. Yeah. So nice job. Thank you. And this isn't the end of this fight. And for yeah. these families, we're going to see big things coming out of them. So look for more stories on the Boss family and the Herber family for years to come. Well done. Thank you, Betsy. We'll be back.